My name is Frank Meza. I came from Peru about, about 10 years ago, and then I enrolled to Suffolk County Community College. This is my third year here, and next semester is my last semester. The first two years here, I was only doing athletics because I figured that was the only thing I know what to do. Um, it was mostly track and field, so I joined the cross country team, and it was a great experience. For cross country, you have to, uh, you have to do 10 miles a day. Then it was track and field. And track and field, it was the, the decathlon. It's 10 events. It's javelin, pole. It's 10 events, and you have two days to do them. And I figured that if I can do all of that stuff, what else can I do? So I joined ALES, which is the Association of Latin American Students. After two meetings, I, I fell in love with it. Next semester, I became president. I met Ramona. She came up with this huge idea of just students like dancing. And uh, at the same time, they were fundraising money for donations and everything. So uh, it's just this whole dance made by the members, which I believe she has 23 members. It's just made by the members, and she's actually dancing too. And I was invited over there to host the whole show. Lisa Hamilton, the director of campus activities, she invited me to uh, the leadership retreat. It changed my life completely. Thanks to the student leadership retreat, it kind of puts all the students from all three different campuses into one place. We all just became friends. We all still talk. When I came back from the leadership retreat, I became part of the student government. I expanded my organization to all three campuses, so it's college-wide. Uh, I joined a few committees too, official committees in the college, the Academic Standards Committee and the Personal Disabilities Committee. I love telling students that you can do it. The best part of orientation is either, it's both, it's the tour and the classroom presentation. Now, they give us a script to follow. I studied the script and I threw it out <laughs> because I didn't want to follow the script. I want the students to hear what students have to say about the school. I am head of the Club Communications Committee, so my job was to oversee all 63 organizations here in this college. That's when the idea clicked in. It was like, we need to get more students involved. This is definitely going to help them, so we really need to focus on this. And people didn't realize that every organization is literally a different idea. And I, most of the stuff I learned in student government, and now I'm thinking about implementing it into Alice too, so see what we can do. Every obstacle to me is like opportunity. I see everything like an opportunity. If I see something bad, I don't think that's a problem. I think that's an opportunity for a change. And I think every student should actually start realizing that. So if I can do it, you can do it. I have a business schedule, but you can do it. You just have to put time and dedication. That's all it takes. But the thing is that you should never give up. I came to realize this year, your status does not define who you are. What defines who you are is pretty much your actions and what you make your time worth. Don't judge a book by its cover. I, I told them, I was like, listen, I'm not going to help you. I'm going to show you what you need to do. It's you, you're going to have to do it. But I will definitely show you the path. I'll show you who you need to talk to, the things they need to do and everything. Treat this like your own house. You guys are paying to be here. You guys are paying a whole tuition, activities fees. Treat it like your own home. I don't know why, but when I was four, I found this flyer in Peru. It was on the dirt, and it's a hostel university. I don't know how I got there. I always wanted to go there. Like, I always wanted to go there. I don't know why, but something tells me to go there. And financially, I can't, but that doesn't mean I won't. So whatever school is out there or whatever school gets me, that's cool that I watch out because I have so many plans and I know how to get them done.